On this super review, let's take a look at the adjustable charging stand for the Nintendo Switch. So I've got a Nintendo Switch, and I'm the kind of person that generally, well, okay, always plays this in handheld portable mode. Basically, I never play it on my television unless I'm playing like Mario Kart or something with my wife. And when it comes to portable game consoles, I really like having charging docks. It just, you know, the convenience of having a charging dock just makes it that much more likely that I'm gonna pick up the console, plug it back in when I'm done with it. It'll always be charged, I don't have to fiddle with cables, so I'm a big fan of charging docks. That said, the official dock that Nintendo has been selling for this thing, it's not cheap, it's like 90 bucks, and it does a lot of things that I don't need it to do. I just really need something that will hold, I can basically just drop my console into, it'll start charging it, maybe, because of the switch, the detachable controllers, maybe I could use it to play in that detached mode, but really I just need something that makes it easy to drop it in and charge it, and then I don't have to worry about cables. But now Nintendo has come out with this, and this is the adjustable charging stand. It's very aptly named. It is just a very simple stand to drop your switch into and start charging it. There are other third-party versions or third-party equivalents of this, but uh, they all just kind of look either a little cumbersome or just, I don't know, maybe I don't trust them. I'm excited that Nintendo came out with one and I'm interested to check it out. So let's go ahead and open it up. All right, so I expect the adjustable charging stand unboxing experience to be very simple and straightforward. Let's get to it. There you go, as expected, very simple unboxing because there is not much in the box. You get the dock and you get the dock, that's it. Uh, if you were looking at this charging dock as something with a complete charging solution, unfortunately, it is not that. This is just the dock, so you still have to supply your own USB-C charging cable to plug into the other end. You can buy that from Nintendo. They charge, I think, 20 bucks just for the power adapter itself, or you could supply your own USB-C charger. Uh, and I've got one here that's actually made for Google Wi-Fi, and it, I seem, it seems like it provides the correct amount of wattage that will charge my switch. So we'll go ahead and hook it up and see how it does. It appears to be charging. One of the nice things about this charging dock is the flexibility with the angle of view. So I could, just to give you a sense, right, I could have this thing standing pretty, pretty nearly vertically, or I can flatten it out depending on how I'm sitting and have it sit. You know, it's not like a 180 degree flat surface, but that's pretty flat. And me sitting here very close to the switch itself, this actually makes a really good angle. I think this is super useful. So I do actually have another dock that I got for the Switch. This is a third-party dock that is, I mean, it was made for just charging cell phones and it does the job, but you can't change the angle on it. And because of this angle is relatively steep, it kind of requires you to sit pretty far back from the Switch itself, which is not the greatest thing because the Switch screen is, you know, it's pretty good size for a handheld screen, but it is not great size for, you know, putting very far away from you. So it's nice that you're able to lay this on the table and flatten it out like this. I could sit very close to it right here, right? Like this is this is actually a comfortable viewing angle and the distance is great because the size of the screen is still good. Like I could sit maybe back here with a controller, a little pro controller action, right? And play like this. Yeah, I could see that working out. Now here's an important test is how easy is it to remove the switch from the dock? Because for a dock to be really useful, I mean, ideally it's just drop, you just plug and play, you drop it and pick it back up with one hand. The dock that I have for my 3DS, I think is fantastic in that regard. The dock that I have for PS Vita, not so fantastic, just because of the way that the connector plugs into the bottom of the console. I have a feeling this is gonna be a lot like the Vita because of the way that USB-C connects, but well, let's find out. Oh, yep, of course. If I just pick up the console, the charger comes with it because 
It's very lightweight, it's not heavy at all, and the way that USB-C plugs into it, it just means that it's more or less a two-handed affair. Although you get good at it, you can reach down with one hand, hold down the back of the dock, and pull up the console, and that's pretty easy. It doesn't lock into place super tight, which is good. You know, you want it tight enough, obviously, that you're getting a charge, but I don't need it to hold the dock. So there you have it, the adjustable charging stand for the Nintendo Switch. If I were to score this out of five, I think I give it four stars out of five. It's pretty good. You know, I love that the adjustment here, it basically goes between almost flat and vertical stand. I think that makes it really useful. And then the fact that it works with any charging cable, any other USB-C charging cable, that makes it pretty versatile. The, uh, the only thing is going against it is that it's just kind of a little flimsy and that's just because it's so small. You know, it is small enough that frankly, if you wanted to, you could leave it on the back of your Switch and just carry your Switch around like that and have it available. That said, that does kind of take away the point of having a charging dock, doesn't it? And you have a kickstand built into your Switch, but I think this is much better than the kickstand. So yeah, four stars out of five for the adjustable charging stand if you want to check it out. I do have a link to it on Amazon down below. It's about 20 bucks right now, it just came out. Get your hands on it, hook it up to your Switch, have some fun, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next Super Review.